out here at spring practice and uh coach i know for you it's just got to be nice to be able to be out here with your guys and and see some football how you feeling being out here in the spring at least uh it's incredible first off i'm just so pleased by uh you know our guys attitude throughout this uh pandemic the challenges you face like staying motivated you know taking every day as an opportunity to grow still when everything is so challenging and so our guys have been incredible like literally i overheard a few the other day say hey you know i'm glad we didn't play this fall because you know i i'm i'm a lot better than i would have been in the fall so our guys have really focused on trying to just you know be be the best they can be every day and and so i'm just so pleased by the strength training the uh you know, on the field stuff, the off the field stuff. And so uh, we, uh, we've gotten better during this time. And, and I was scared that people could close the gap on us, uh, you know, being a team that's, uh, you know, been 27 and two the last uh, two seasons. But um, I feel good about where uh, our progress has been. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to comprehend a, a season without football, but you're going to go back this fall and it's going to be mostly a completely different group. And uh, what are some of the new features of this team that uh, fans can expect to see when you do get there in the fall? Well, truthfully, it's a lot of the same guys. You know, we got, uh, we got um, five offensive linemen that are going to be six-year guys, which is crazy. And so, um, you know... It, it, it's very interesting how many guys we got back, you know, uh, guys that have been here a while. Um, so it's exciting. Uh, but the new guys have done really well, too. And that's uh, – we've got practice today twice. So um, that was all our veterans there. And then at 3 p.m. we got our younger guys. And we're just trying to, um, you know, take every opportunity to help players grow. And I feel good about, you know, both the young guys and the veterans. We, uh, we've made a lot of progress. Take, taking COVID out of the equation here, I know that's hard to do, but uh, how would maybe this spring practice be different from a spring practice you run in a normal season? Well, we declared this our season, so normally our spring practices would be, um, you know, limited by, you know, in a, in a week. It's an eight-hour week. Now it's a 20-hour week. Not to say we're taking 20 hours, but – but the one thing that I was not giving away was the player development in the weight room. So we're training more in the weight room than we would under a normal spring. Um, you know, we got a new strength coach who's doing a great job. Our guys are enthused. And, and I'm really more focused on player development than uh, I would be under most springs because uh, most springs you're kind of like, you know, you got to give something up with the eight-hour rule. But uh, now we don't have to give – give up the strength training which is right now you know guys are five five hours of it so if we if we did five hours of strength training in normal springs we'd only have three hours a week on the field and so um it gives us a chance to kind of spend a little bit more time in the strength training development and then also uh you know on the field because this is a you know opportunity to have 20 hours rather than eight